Okay, so I got a comment on one of my videos asking me what I learned in college. So for those of you guys that do not know, I'm in university or college and I'm currently in my third year. So I'm a junior, uh, but I'll be graduating a little bit early. I'll be graduating in August, thanks to taking some classes over the summer, including this summer. So I'm taking three classes right now, um, and I'm super stoked. I'm ready to be done with school. Uh, but nonetheless, let's talk about it and talk about what I learned at school. And before I get into exactly what I learned, I want to talk a little bit about uh, the university that I go to. So I go to uh, University of Texas at Dallas. Now this is a state school and I'm studying computer science at it. And it is a, I would say, a decent school. So it is like not like top tier stuff, but it's also not like super awful. Uh, I'd say it's about average, a little above average. Um, and their computer science department is pretty good and they're known for engineering and that sort of thing. Now, don't get this confused with the University of Texas at Austin, so UT uh, or UT Austin. This is different. This is UTD or UT Dallas, and it is a lower tier school than UT Austin, uh, but it's not terrible. So that's the school that I go to. And before I talk about the classes and stuff I took, I wanted to go over like a quick myth I feel like a lot of people think uh, I learned or think that you learned while in college, and that is programming. So when you get a degree in computer science, you do not get a degree in programming. Um, they do not just teach you programming there. And in fact, I only took one programming class my entire four years here um, that taught me Java. But I actually already knew Java coming in because I took a class, so it was almost redundant and I almost learned to zero coding in college whatsoever. Um, but that's just this school. Maybe some other schools focus more. But I feel like in general, uh, students come out of college being pretty meh at programming, unless they're doing it in other places besides just what you learn in the classes you take. Um, but I do have, and that's not to say you don't program at all, right? So like in some of my other classes, um, you do do some programming. So like right now, I'm taking an advanced Java class. Um, but one of the unfortunate things is they don't always teach you the most up-to-date or uh, best tools or most recent stuff. So for example, I'm taking a Java class right here, right now called Advanced Java, and it's teaching us kind of like Java web development, um, but they're teaching us old stuff, and it's really unfortunate, and we're use, ha we have to use NetBeans, which is uh, probably one of the my least favorite Java editors uh, nothing against NetBeans, it just has so much worse than IntelliJ and uh, Eclipse as well. And I don't even like Eclipse, but Eclipse is much better than this. Um, but yeah, so just keep that in mind. You would, you don't do a ton of programming, so don't expect everyone uh, that got a computer science degree are expert programmers because they are not. Um, but with that said, let's talk about some of the classes that I took. So you start off. Uh, and I kind of partition it into three sections in my head. So there's core classes, um, which are consist of English, history, um, philosophy. I took philosophy. You can also take like humanities. And then there's an art class you have to take. That sort of stuff. And th that those classes are not fun. They're they're not helpful. They're just a waste of time. And just you just do it. Um, and then there's math. So there's like a decent chunk of math that you take. Some schools require you to take more math. This one just required us to take two calculuses, so how to take derivatives and how to take integrals. And then after that we did more of like a mix between math and logic and computer science and they called those discrete maths. So you take two discrete maths in a class called autonomy theory which just has a lot of like formal logic and uh, proofs that sort of thing and th those classes are actually pretty helpful indirectly I would say so like I, w I don't ever use those things while coding f for example but uh, they're kind of like in the back of my mind and they like help you think if, if that makes sense like they uh, get you get you thinking problem solving that sort of thing and then lastly there's the last section of computer science which is like uh, a bunch of just like random class, well, I guess not random classes, but they introduce you to a bunch of different topics. So for example, I took an operating systems class, a databases class, um, uh, what else, uh, computer uh, architecture, um, 
where a digital logic where you're kind of like all right let's look at a super low level uh, so binary and uh, what that looks like and then kind of move up the stack if you will so uh, how operating system works on your computer and then if you want to store data how a database works um, that sort of thing now those classes are all super basically uh, introductory level and really shallow so you don't get a lot out of those and you kind of have to uh, dig deeper if you want to learn more about them uh, yourself uh, but yeah and then I would say my uh, my favorite class was the data structures chain now I did not like data structures at all but I like the second part which was advanced data structures um, in that class we learned like dynamic programming and stuff that would be on interview questions which I find that stuff pretty interesting now I said I hated my data structures class so, uh, that, that was awful and actually what I would do is um, MIT has free classes online so I would actually just go to I, I forget what it what it is if you just Google MIT data structures you'd find it but I would watch a data structures course from MIT um, so if my class was learning uh, graphs and whatnot binary trees or whatever I would just watch that lecture on MIT and it would be 10 times better and I'd learn 10 times more and that's just what I would do in my classes um, so that stuff is just kind of meh and I'm in general I didn't like my classes that much they were just alright uh, and then uh, at least at my university there's like a capstone project which you work on a basically a company will have like something for you to work on you do some coding uh, it's it's alright um, in mine I got stuck with doing uh, old software again so we used Cordova um, which was not very fun uh, much preferred to use something like React Native uh, but unfortunately they're using Cordova so again uh, at least there you get some uh, more practical coding experience so that's like uh, a decent uh, course offering because um, you're working and it's kind of like more project based uh, but yeah so those are kind of like the classes that I took but I think one of the most underrated aspects of going to university or going to college is kind of the things you do outside of classes um, and one of those things is hackathons. So I, I mean, I also did like, for example, clubs and whatnot. But hackathons were like uh, the, what I would say the best thing that I got out of college. So for those of you that do not know what they are, uh, they are 24 or 36 hour uh, lock-ins where you're basically just locked in a university. Uh, you're not really locked in, but basically you're at a university. You sleep there. Um, well, usually you don't even sleep. But you're awake coding for like 24 to 36 hours on something and there's free food uh, free swag t-shirts and actually that's where I got this MongoDB t-shirt um, so and what you're doing is companies are there as well and they're sponsoring these things so you'll have like Facebook Google or whatnot Amazon and they're like alright so best application that uses I don't know the messenger platform and uses their API to make a bot and so they'll have a challenge and they'll have a prize for it and so you can code whatever you want that uses the messenger platform and then they'll judge you and then if you get prizes if your application is good enough but you have 24 hours to code this thing you work in a team or you can work by yourself um, and you pitch it and it's, it's really fun and this is where you get to meet a lot of people network and then also like play with the new technologies and whatnot so that was probably my favorite part and Oh, I did them probably like every week in my junior year um, like or junior or sophomore year I can't remember I did them like almost every weekend and it actually just destroyed me I can't do them anymore because it uh, just destroys your sleep schedule and I would just be tired all the time after that so I stopped doing those but at the time they were really fun and I actually feel like I got a lot out of them and got become a much better programmer uh, because of them but yeah, so those were super helpful, and I recommend if you haven't done any hackathons, uh, do try them because uh, they're, they're really fun. And they're free also, so free food, free stuff, and just all around uh, really good. And yeah, I guess that kind of wraps up what I learned at college.